guys, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and today I am doing the Q&A video that you all have so frequently asked me to do. Of course, I've got my fiancé over here, my very handsome man, it's Ronnie good, Lee. good to see you again. Oh, you're not seeing me at all. <laughs> I see you perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. I'm going to tell you some of the questions that we've been receiving. Some of them are directed specifically to you. Great. Okay, well. I will do my very best to answer them. <laughs> they ain't that difficult. <laughs> this ain't a test. This is just a Q&A. Okay, so everybody wants to know what your favorite meal is that I make you. Well, I would have to say my most favorite mm -hmm. uh, is your Mexican cabbage. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, the meat is good. The cheese, I especially love. I'm, I am a uh, cheese person, and I love the uh, the nice spice. See, I'm he is talking about the Mexican cabbage casserole. And if you all have not seen that video, I'll link it down below. That way, you guys can check out what he's talking about. But honestly, I'm going to tell you a little secret. On YouTube, there's a lady that does all these Weight Watcher recipes. And um, I was, I got very addicted to watching her because she was so good at what she did. Um, but I don't think she's on anymore, which is sad. Um, she did a uh, Mexican cabbage casserole, but it was Weight Watchers. And I thought, oh, that sounds so good. But for us, I make it fattening. I don't use the fat-free uh, cheese. <laughs> I use the ground beef and not the turkey. And so, you know, I've made it my own, but you can do it any way that you like. Basically, it's just cabbage in a 9 by 13 and cooked hamburger meat with taco seasoning. I use piccati sauce because that gives it a big kick. And that's my son. Hold on one second. Hey, I figured it out. You figured it out. Yeah, I'll leave a link down below for the recipe and you guys can uh, check it out. Um, something that I do want to touch base with and I've been asked is to give an update on my life and where I'm at. And I'm in West Virginia. Uh, I was born and raised in West Virginia. I was born and raised in Morgantown, West Virginia. And where are you from, honey? I am from uh, West Virginia as well. A few hours more south than you, but uh, it's amazing. We met in Alabama. Yeah, we did. We, we met in Huntsville, Alabama at the Rocket Center. And the strange thing is, I didn't even know it. Uh, <laughs> we were over at the uh, Space Academy, and uh, I was sitting there, and I, I felt something brush up against my hair, and she was rubbing my head, and uh, she didn't tell me who she I was. Know, that's a good thing to tell everybody on here. <laughs> Well, I was really shy, and Ronnie, you were so good looking, and I thought, there's no way that guy would like me. No way. But, it all panned out. We ended up at the same school, which was Romney School for the Blind and Deaf, right? Yes, and, and uh, I will tell a little story about okay, that, because... Because uh, everybody wants to know how we met. Well, I tell you, the, the biggest thing, now, I, Grant, I didn't know that... Uh, I didn't know for a long time that it was her in Alabama, uh, but a year a year or so later, um, I was sitting in music class, and uh, our teacher was playing something on the piano, and I heard this wonderful, wonderful voice, and, and you know, the song that was sung was so beautiful, and I... I can't remember what the song was because it's, <laughs> it's been about 26 years ago. But I remember I heard the sweetest voice that sounded like an angel. And I said to myself, you know, I said, I'm going to sit here and um, I'm going to sit here and listen. So I, I listened, all right. I listened to probably uh, her sing two or three songs. And I said, you know, I'm going to wait till I'm going to sit here till the class is over and uh, hopefully, you know, I'll get to uh, talk to her. And uh, so I sat there and I prayed, uh, let me get to talk to this uh, this wonderful uh, person. And uh, sure enough, I waited till class was over and I started walking to the uh, home economics class and I hear this wonderful voice say, Hi, my name is Heidi. 
I said, well, how are you? And she told me, uh, she told me it was, uh, we told each other it was so good to meet each other. And she had evidently heard me sing prior. She's talking about my voice, which I'll tell you, uh, without the Lord, uh, I wouldn't have a voice. But um, I, we, we were walking and, and uh, she said, uh, where are you going? I said, I'm going to home economics class. I said, where are you headed? She said, well, I'm headed to the home economics class, but I don't know how to get there. I said, well, I would sure be glad to take you. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what did you learn 25 years? Uh, well, I learned 26 years uh, yeah. uh, in tw that uh, she was lying to me. She did know her <laughs> way. And I knew where home economics class was. I just wanted him to take me. So, uh, <laughs> so we took hands and we strolled very slowly. Strolled. Uh, we we strolled very slowly. Me using my uh, my um, blind senses. blind senses, my uh, <laughs> my blind steps, uh, my echolocation, object <laughs> perception, and uh, we slowly strolled the home economics class, and we talked and laughed mm. all the way there. I mean, we were like peas and carrots. We really were. We really were. And then after that, then he had just uh, asked me if I'd like to come over to his house. He lived near the school. And every mm. chance I got, every opportunity I had, I was over there at his house, uh, hanging out, eating his junk food, and uh, listening to your music. You know, kind of been rolling in my head how I'm going to approach this uh, with y'all. Now, I know with YouTube, a lot of different um, YouTubers, they will open up their personal lives and share very intimate details of of things and in thinking about this for years that I've been doing YouTube I have been saying how this is a very positive um, this is a very positive channel and you know I don't want to reflect on anything that is bad obviously I am divorced and uh, out of respect for my kids uh, if you guys are not familiar with me and you're new to my channel I have three sons uh, Dylan Jonathan and Lucas. Lucas, my oldest. Um, I love my boys and out of respect for them, I just think that going into um, too much detail here on my channel would just not help them. Uh, anytime that a married couple divorces, it affects the kids. And uh, so out of respect for them, I'm not going to share too much about it. But what I am going to focus on on my channel is this, and that is that I am doing well a lot of you guys and i'm going to say this i took a year off from doing youtube you guys have hung with me i have gotten messages are you okay are you doing good i can't wait for you to come back so i'm back because i love you all and i love youtube and uh you know uh my kids you guys have asked me about my kids my kids are doing well um as you guys know i have one in the army i have one that has his own business um, you guys have seen a lot, a lot of Lucas and asked me specifically about him. He's my little social butterfly uh, on my YouTube channel. So <laughs> I know you guys are really well acquainted with my oldest son. He is doing wonderful. Uh, he is at a university. He is getting a, working towards a degree, uh, a second degree actually, in um, basically performing arts. Uh, he's a classical pianist. I'm very proud of him and uh, just love all three of my kids to death because all of them really are uh, smart and handsome and they're pursuing their dreams and, that, and they're happy and that's all that a mother can really ask for. Um, I am in West Virginia. I am here about uh, Huntington, West Virginia. Um, I'm living in a little town called the Guyandot, which I never thought that I would ever say that. Uh, what is it? What is the history behind the guy and dot? Anyways, I know you know it. Well, I know uh, the Civil War. Uh, during the Civil War, this was a a, a very uh, it was a very busy time. Matter of fact, we just had Civil War days, yes, and we, did. Uh, we, we went, went to it uh, just here. What was it? A week or so? Or a couple weeks ago? A couple weeks ago, and now women are all dressed in their we, uh, colonial outfits and got soldiers out there, and we're out there and. <laughs> You even got to see, uh, um, you even got to see, uh, well, I was, we were standing out there and, and they were showing us how that they embalmed the uh, dead. Yeah. Uh, back then. And, 
I didn't get to see it, but uh, she did. But uh, we, I, we were standing there, and I tell you what, I jumped. I heard this big cannon sound. And, uh, it scared us to death. I, I'd like to jump out of my britches, I'm telling you. I know, it scared me. I mean, it just, um, it rattled you from the inside out because it was that loud. But we did get to see a little bit of a reenactment um, of some fighting out there. And, and everybody that participated in that I thought was really neat. Um, I you know, they came like from that. they came from everywhere. What I enjoyed was they came from uh, different places. they came from different places, and you know, uh, as you talk to them, you get to learn about you know the different places and you know what goes right. on. And and I'm a guy that loves to know about places and 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 you know the history and culture. Have an update on uh, you know what's going on with me, and if you guys are on my Instagram, if you're not, I'll try to remember to leave a link down below in the description if you all want to come over and start following me on Instagram because usually I post something every single day. So if you want to keep up with me and what's going on with me, I'm I'm there every day. Um, but on Instagram, I did announce a while back that Ronnie and I are getting married. And that is the most exciting, wonderful, <laughs> you know what, I can't even describe it. It, 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 it is so, it's such a happy time uh, for Heidi and I. Uh, that, uh, and and you know been... a year, a year uh, has flown by so yes. fast. I've actually, let's see, well, we've, we've kind of been talking way over a year, but uh, I'm since I've moved to West Virginia, on the 18th of November, I've actually been here a whole year. And you know, I'll never forget, uh, it's the best Thanksgiving, last year, the, the best Thanksgiving and Christmas I have had since uh, we were in Romney. Oh. It was, uh, it was the best. And, and you know, you know something even more better? What's well, more better? Is we got more and more Thanksgivings and Christmases to come. and holidays to come. Yeah, and I you know something, to that too. sharing it with your loved ones and the people that you love makes the holidays so much better. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, I have to say, uh, life has changed for me. I've gone from city life to, well, and the funny thing is, is we live in the city. It is well. But it's a different pace here. It's slow. Uh, it's slower pace, yeah. but uh, yet for two. Uh, well, I'll just say blind and visually impaired. Uh, yeah. She's visually impaired. I'm uh, blind as a bat. <laughs> but you know something, we're so blessed because you know the bus comes over every day just about and takes mm -hmm. us shopping, uh, takes you to your doctor's appointment, takes us to the. Uh, yeah, Swimming here pool. where we live, we have, and if you haven't seen that video, we did a uh, dealing with blindness video, uh, I think it was this year, it might have been last, I don't know, but um, we did that video, and um, we got a lot of great positive feedback from that, but we talk about the area that we live in, and how it is equipped for people that are blind because we have a lot of sources here. We have uh, a blind association that we belong to. We have buses. We have cabs. We have Uber. I mean, most people have Uber anymore, but and just I, being so close to everything makes it easy. So, uh, something about the wedding. Well, I can tell you what. The cake is sure going to be wonderful. <laughs> Cause we just yeah, we just, just had the cake testing, and so you know, obviously, uh, Ronnie Lee here loves to eat. So cake testing that was right up your alley. You were just like really excited about that. Now flowers, decor, just forget him. It don't matter. But the cake testing, he was there right up front. He's like, "Give me more. I'm ready to test more." We gave him a piece of chocolate. He said, "I think I'm gonna need to try that again." The chocolate was good, so we we came up with a uh, uh, with what? like a white chocolate with a uh, like an orange uh, Cream creamsicle, and you know what? I've never tried that in cake, but Heidi good. and I was talking about it. I said, wouldn't it be wonderful if they had a cake like that? And I'm telling you what, we we tried that and we fell in love with it. Yeah, so we're we're gonna have a three tier cake. The bottom layer is gonna be white chocolate, and the middle and the top, which the top you take home with you as bride and groom. 
um, will be the orange cream sickle. So our guests will be able to choose what they like. It's going to have a, uh, some of you guys may not know this, but he plays the piano. And so the bottom of the cake is going to be surrounded in piano keys. Him and I, uh, because music brought us together and we do do some singing together, um, we I felt that that needed to be incorporated because of the way how we met, music class and so on and so on. Good we thing also, we were in music, huh? Well, we also composed all of the music for our high school graduation as well. But our uh, cake's going to have sunflowers. Sunflowers is going to be my um, my flower of choice and my... My bedroom looks like sunflowers have exploded in there because I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. I'm going to do a future uh, future video for you guys that are curious about the wedding. Um, as we get closer to the date, I've got the wedding shower coming up and I'll probably do a little bit of videoing for that if you all want to see that. Um, my matron of honor is, uh, gonna, is doing a wonderful job in planning that and I look forward to it in February. Um, but anyways, the top of the cake, as a cake topper, a lot of you guys have asked me if we're going traditional or what we're going to do. We are doing, Ronnie here, <laughs> sitting at a piano, um, and the lady that's making the cake said she's going to put sunglasses on the guy, and then the bride is going to be standing next to the piano, um, just like it would be for me and him, you know, as normal, right? Yes. <laughs> But that's going to be our cake. Um, I have my dress. A lot of you guys are wanting to know about plans. I, I have had my dress for months. Um, I walked in the store. His I, mother actually. Believe me, it. she's beautiful. She's He's beautiful got to see it. Dress. And I know you guys are like, no, you're know, not supposed to see it. He hadn't seen all of it. I just let him feel the sequence on it. And he said it was really pretty. From what I saw, she was very beautiful. So I got the dress. My mother has done a lot of work uh, helping me with the dress. Um, I've got my shoes. They are so beautiful. Um, and I'm just so excited about wearing that. But uh, the, pretty much we got the venue. And uh, we got the cake. We got the catering. We're going to have uh, sauce, Italian sausage ziti pasta, grilled chicken alfredo. Uh, salad and rolls and it's going to be more than enough. We're going to have sweet tea, iced tea, lemonade, water, coffee. Um, we're looking at about 50 guests and uh, his pastor, which has been my pastor for the last year, uh, his name is Sam, uh, he's going to be doing the um, ceremony. And then you have, my major of honor's name is Emma, and your best man is Josh. Yes. And uh, I've known him for, uh, known him for, well, I've known him for several years. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and he's going to, and, and, and hopefully he's going to play open arms for yeah, us on the we're piano. we're going to love that. Remember that old Journey song that came out yeah, in 1981? Yeah, we love that. And then uh, my son is going to fly in from Memphis, and my parents are going to pick him up in Pittsburgh because that's the nearest um, airport. And um, he's going to come here for the wedding. He's going to be playing, he's a classical pianist, so he's probably going to be doing a lot more playing than he knows. So shh, don't tell. Um, so I'm going to have him do Always and Forever. I've asked him specifically to do that song. Um, and then we're... Well, we kind of know what we're going to dance to, right? Oh, yes. Uh, Do you know? It's, it's, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be oldies. Yeah, we're definitely going to play oldies. But I'm talking about our specific dance, you and me. You don't know, do you? <laughs> we'll work on we'll that. We'll figure it out. Back. We'll work on that and get back to them. <laughs> We've already had snow here. We have, and, uh, but you know what? Today... Today I noticed it was uh, it was sunny, it was uh, bright, and uh, it was uh, we uh, were in the 40s. Yep. Well, that's pretty much all the questions. You know that? I think we've uh, pretty much nailed everything. Um, we are. I am going to be doing. If he's not in them, I'm definitely going to be doing. We're going to be doing some day in the life videos to share with you guys some of our uh, days together. We've got some fun things planned for the holidays. I'm going to take you guys along with us. 
Um, I do want to thank all of you all for uh, sending in your questions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always love to film with uh, Ronnie. He's so much fun to be around, and I know you guys have really enjoyed meeting him, but you're going to see a lot of Ronnie Lee in the future. A very lot. A very lot. <laughs> Did I just say that? Yeah, she did. Maybe I need to go back to school and take some English. Maybe we should cut down on the coffee before we fill. Uh, yeah, this is only my third big cup. Yeah. I think we drank a whole pot of peppermint. And I think these, these cups are as big as our heads, honestly. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Invite your friends to come over to my channel. I am so close. <laughs> so close to 10,000 subscribers. I would love to have that uh, for the new year. So why don't you help me make it happen? That would be spectacular. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye guys.